What's good, YouTube family? This your God bless one. Thank you for watching another video of I Smoke Hip Hop. Hey, man, um, I'm really still on my break right now, but I wanted to talk about um something I just seen. Well, I seen a video that most of you guys probably seen. Um, It was a video that kind of like concerned me a lot. I seen the video talking about DME um, being banned from the URL. At first, I thought it was like one of DME's like regular video because he got some good titles or whatever and not clickbait, but you get what I'm meaning. Like he sometimes will hype the title more than what it is. Like all of us YouTubers, everybody's guilty of that. Nothing wrong with it. Um, but I'm thinking maybe he's just going in because URL is being, you know, this and that on certain things. But he said he know from two credible sources and he's like he could put his everything on it that these two credible. My bad. I'm playing with my son. Hang on. Let me see if he's here. Babe. Babe, Junior is in the house. Oh, all right. I'm going to close the sliding window because he likes trying to jump in that lake. My bad. My son is very mischievous. See, I didn't even edit it. I didn't want him to in this lake over here. But um, he said he could bet everything on those two credible sources. And my thing about if he can bet everything on them two credible sources, then that's kind of lame if the URL is out here banning bloggers. Now, it's bad enough you buying bloggers and, and you trying to, like, steal bloggers' opinions or shut them up or whatever. But now you banning them from events. Like, I'm not trying to say everybody needs to start, every blogger needs to come and be a kumbaya or whatever, but I think the fans and the bloggers now need to be united when something like that happens. I don't mean, again, we don't have to be this, we don't have to do that. I'm talking about as far as against whatever the URL got going. The reason I'm saying that, in a culture that's so small, that hasn't even grown and how big it should have been by now, let's just keep it a stag. We don't want to admit it. I, I promise you, I'm one of them cats back in 2006, the way we had the DVDs, and even in 2009 when we started a brand new format of the Battle Rap, even even the Grind Time one, I'm thinking, man, Battle Rap about to be, you know what I'm saying, like what arena football was when it came, you know, just, or even the MLS, if you're a soccer fan, like, it's just going to be the next wave, and I feel like we're in the how much years of this now, almost 10 year anniversary, not of Smack, because Smack is longer than that, but of the new format, we're almost in a 10 year anniversary, and where is the growth? You know what the growth is to smacking them? Kevin Durant just tweeted about us or such and such just tweeted about us. But guess why it doesn't help if them dudes ain't investing. And I don't want to say they're not investing because I don't know behind the scene, but damn near you can tell who's not investing. And it's just word of mouth or being treated like a groupie. You can easily see it. The real people who have made URL has always been me, you, the bloggers, media, fans. It's been people like that keeping this thing functioning or whatever go throughout. The Source magazine just put um, Angry Fan, Battle Truth, and Vada Fly on this thing here. Like, for, listen, put put it this way while I'm trying to break it down. If you're a chef, like I'm about to I'm about to show you why the fans and, and bloggers even matter. If you're a chef and you have a five star restaurant or four star restaurants, even a three star restaurant, and this this consumer of foods carnivore comes and eat at your restaurant critiquing your food me personally i'd rather have the customers who buy and eat my food and critique how better it could be versus a customer who buys my food and doesn't really say anything at all you get you dig what i'm saying because that customer is buying and also giving feedback proper feedback that you should get and i feel like that's what a blogger and fan does we're just basically chefs out here i mean um customers out here in your restaurant url and we like eating it. We got some of our favorite dishes to eat at your restaurant, URL. And I feel like I, from time to time, I could tell the waiter, you tell the um the chef, this was a great um a great uh, lobster, or whatever. But tell him if he adds shredded cheese instead of clunks of cheese, and you know maybe that will make it even more better to devour or whatever. So I just feel like when you start banning bloggers and from your events come on fam like you taking it to the streets now smack like that's what we're really doing and i feel like there's a lot of dudes who'll take smack money to put hands on certain bloggers yeah i'm gonna say y'all can be dumb all you want to it's not snitching it's not it's not saying any of that it's just street talk <laughs> that's why you can tell who's not from the hood just based on the comments i feel like you crossing a dirty line right there because everybody can't be jay black smack i'm gonna say that again 
everybody can't be Jay Black and Tech Nine the champion. We all can't be like we, we're gonna buy into what Smack is doing because the investments and the friendship is more worth it. Like, nah, man. At the end of the day, every single blogger had put their heart into blowing up their own channels and platform to talk about something they love. Battle rap is bigger than you, Smack. And I feel like when you guys start aligning to get rid of some people out here just because you don't like what they're saying, like, I ain't gonna lie, DME goes in on URL a whole lot. But at the same time, it's like that chef and the analogy I just told you guys. DME also buys and invests into URL. Even the URL so-called battlers. He buys their shirts. He buys the pay-per-view events. He tried to come to certain events um, that he said. I forgot the situation, but I feel like Dan Me should watch himself if he goes to any event. That's a fact. Cause if if smacking them, if smacking them can do that to Dan Me, you really don't think he's doing it to a lot of us other bloggers? Cause although I talk, y'all know I talk a lot of good for Smack URL. They even gave me a strike in my other channel. I'm gonna keep it a stack. I didn't do a video. All oh, they snitch, y'all. Listen, if them boys feel like striking me. For taking one of their content, go ahead. I knew what the risks were involved. That's why I don't do no crybaby stuff about it. URL been striking people. All of you bloggers know that. But back to that, I just personally feel like you can do it to any bloggers. And I've talked a lot. Well, I've also criticized URL. Like, why we can't criticize something when we see something that's wrong or this and that? All I'm going to say is, man, if, if they really banning bloggers out here, that just goes to show you why they ain't um, being bigger than what they was. And I think people tell me they're so business-minded and all that. If they really did make $2 million, why they can't say in their head, if we can make $2 million from not even progressing the way we should be, imagine if we actually put more effort, more time into this. Imagine that $2 million could be $20 million, or then on and on and on. The reason why Total Slaughter failed, there was 